Welcome to Monday Mukbang. Monday Mukbang. As we do again, celery, carrots, and hummus. Yeah. This hummus comes from Kava. 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 Uh, we have roasted garlic hummus and we got uh, Kalamata hummus. Yeah. Mine's olive based and Neil's is just roasted ro ro garlic. garlic. Ro roasted garlic. I've never had uh, olive flavored hummus, so I'm sort of excited. Uh, to I this. picked this one out. Yeah. Ooh, this smells good like the olive stuff. So, um, we've right. never had kava hummus either. No, so we had we had found it at um, Whole Foods, Whole Foods uh, a local Whole Foods. Yeah. Um, right, I'm doing good it. bit away. Mm, that's good. I don't think anybody else is gonna eat mine. I'm gonna try it. You wanna try it? Yeah. I before do it before I double dip though. Okay. There you go. You got like olives. You're not gonna be able to deal with it. It's not olives. Oh, don't be double dipping there. I give them the other side. Okay. Oh, shoot. So today we're talking about um a little bit about football. I think. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll hit football. <laughs> yeah. Well, Neil and I are probably a little bit better equipped to talk about football than say even Nikki and I. Uh huh. Um. So I was watching this. We will be. We've started our own fantasy football league. Yeah, we started our own fantasy football league because instead yeah, we, of just we didn't get instead, enough football, instead of watching the sport, and oh well, I just broke that. <laughs> instead of watching the sport, we might as well engage into something. That, yeah, since Neil's not old enough to gamble. Yeah, since I'm not old enough to gamble, and my dad doesn't want to gamble against me. No, I don't want to. I don't want to be responsible for that. I feel that if you're ready you to gamble. You don't want to lose, I know. No. I feel that when you're ready to gamble, you'll find somebody, like I did, make the appropriate inquiries and gamble. Anyway. There you go. But, let me get some of that. It's all right. Is it, is it that different? It's all right. It's not terrible. No, it's not terrible. Like, mine is more unique. Yeah. It's, that's, kind of, that's actually sort of sweet. This one is kind of weird. It's weird. I think it's because I'm eating that one. Uh -huh. This one seems sweet. But. This is delicious. Uh, I'm yeah, we made that. our own fantasy league because, you know, we couldn't get enough of sports and it gives us a little something else to do other than sitting out and watching. Yeah, it's we are a little bit competitive in nature. Yeah. And this just kind of gets us into, you It's know, sort of fed it. I like, I like strategic games and, you know, to the people out sure. there who, who, who listen to, who say, who listen to that sentence and think, how is fantasy football strategic? I can understand why you say it's not. But, what? Because, in a four-man league. It's not. Well, there's not. Um, I would argue that there might be even more strategy. I, I guess, yeah. Um. And if you know anything about football, there's you have those players that you can name off the bat that, you know, if you can name off the bat, most likely they're popular and big enough that they're, they're probably gonna do they're, okay. they're good. They're good. Oh um you know. And the object of the game is to pretty much get the players who make the most points. Um well or who can make the most points. And for those that don't know, fantasy football scores a lot like regular football. Kind of. Yeah. Yards count as a point. Pretty much. I don't know how many yards. I think yeah. it's, I want to say it's like 20. Um, it depends on the player. Yeah, it depends on the position. Yeah, position. Uh, anyway, you only get one quarterback in our league. I know that there are leagues that you can get more than one. We are only using one. Yeah. I think we've got two running backs, two wide receivers, and a flex, and a kicker. And a tight end. Oh, and a tight end. Thank you. And, a, de and, a, and a defense. And a defense. Um, and why we started playing this, hey, there's a couple reasons. Um, One... My nephew 
Who's his you have, no, my no, nephew. Your nephew. Cousin. My cousin. Uh, <laughs> question us about starting one. And you know. <laughs> your nephew. My nephew. Nah, that's Goodness. Fun. You're the oldest you're the oldest grandkid. Yeah, no. That'd be messed up. A little fab. But, um, he had questioned us about, you know, doing one. And, you know, we didn't, well, I just, I, I didn't want to do go into one that was just super huge, you know. Here's, you get a roster of 50 players, you have 20 of them active. You know, I didn't want to go, you know, I wanted something short and simple. We use ESPN's fantasy football app, which is pretty simple to use. It's not um, Pretty, so, it's pretty simple to use and make up. If you're interested, and you're trying to compete, say, with somebody, you know. You need four members to start. I think, yeah, a little bit. I think, yeah, I think you need a minute. Mm. It would be hard to run one with two. I, given ESPN's program and guidance, That being said, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's... And you don't really need to watch the games. It scores for you. Yeah. It scores for you. So, so I mean, if you're, if you're just playing it because... You want to compete you, with somebody. You want to compete with somebody. Or have fun. Oh. Let's say, like, you know, your brother... And three of his friends need somebody to just do it. Right. You can just show, show, up. show up and be in there. Yeah. Um, Neil picked a couple of really good dark horses. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Neil got really lucky on a lot of dark horse. Can't uh, dark horse. Uh, the one thing I I I've I tried to figure out about this because you know when it comes to a strategic game, I try and hone in a lot of different other things. Um, just video games in general. I try and just, I look, I actually research and look up stuff. And I know it's kind of lame to say that I looked up and re and researched. He did. Fantasy football things. But I did, uh, just cause, you know, I wanted to have the best strategy going into it. Uh, um, I was very successful. Um, I was very shocked. I was the, shocked. To put this in perspective, he yeah, outscored me by 100 points. By 50, about 50, 50, 50, oh, or 50 points. 60 points. Um, to to put this in perspective, the projection that I was supposed to make, I was projected to make 131 points. He, he was hit 200. You were 137. I hit about 201 points, and he hit about 158. Yeah. I hit my projections, but you. I, I, your your players came out big. I walked away. I, I tried walking, and you know, I, you know, that's it. You know, I researched. I did that lame move. I, I feel like I feel like researching in fantasy football is a little bit of a lame thing to do. No, you know there are guys out there with like books. I don't know. I don't. Know. And girls. I mean, yeah. I, they buy the book. They buy books and. No, no, no. They make books. Oh, I mean, they yeah. buy them. They they get they get magazines and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's legit. I know. Oh. What's the matter? Sorry, just it's going down. Weird. A couple of those, it was weird. A couple of these stocks of celery had super celery flavor. It was weird. I mean, it was just different. I think it's just because I didn't, I didn't bite it all the way through. Oh. But, yeah. So we, we after week <sighs> one, um, right now, we're, uh, we're we're working on week two of when we're filming this. We're working on week two. I don't know when this video is coming out. I don't so, know when, um, what week we'll be in. Right. In terms of that, maybe next week. Maybe next week. Who knows? But with week two, um, I am versing my brother. He's versing my cousin. Bye, nephew. This will be interesting to see. Um, and yeah. And I just, just because I don't know if you'll actually watch this video, to my cousin, um, 
He li he likes to. He's very competitive. Guy. He is very competitive. He's good. Um, he believes that he will he, he will win this. He, yeah, he's got a. I'm not quite sure what his strategy is. I haven't figured that out. Given his players, but he's a little younger. He's younger than Neil, but older than Nick. Yeah, he's ten, I think. Yeah. Not ten. He's like no kisses. 50, on the he's like four, fifteen. Fourteen, fifteen. <clears throat> what can I, can I give you the hummus? Get. But yeah, he, he his whole thing has been to get the the best play. I mean, you know, the whole point is to get the best players. Oh, yeah. walk, walking out of it, you know. It, what's funny is walking out of it, I did not walk away with the best players. No, actually, and Neil did some things that were, I, I think, correct. In any position, I don't think I got the best player in any of the positions, even though I had second, I had second pick. Yeah, I don't remember who you picked second. Who'd you pick second? I picked I picked Kamara. Oh, so I so I tried to pick more towards the lines of who I who is not gonna get injured. No. Well, Kamara, who 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 is not gonna get injured or who has, who's who's least been injured? Yeah. Good thing you know. Uh, with some trades and well, you got lucky in a trade. With some trades, not only with you gave you gave away a big guy. I did, and I walked away with players that ultimately helped me win. In the yeah. But not only with trades, but also just just thinking about some of the players I had. Um, my lineup hasn't changed entirely from when I first drafted. Unlike. You flipped the other three one, guys. One player for three. Yeah, it has. I flipped two got two players for three. Mm -hmm. I dropped somebody. I had to drop somebody. But oh, okay. Who just drop? What's his name? He said he's a receiver. I dropped uh, not Cook. Was it Cook? My name was Cook. It was a guy. It was a Rams. It was Rams for receiver. Well, I'd be Cook. I think it was Cook. Butter. Well, I don't know. Coming out of week one, I. Well, I, I, had one, I had the one of the week least. In, I no, I didn't. I did have one injury. Both my brother and my my cousin and I had had, had heavy injuries. Who did you get injured? I had Aaron Rodgers, baby. Oh, but who came back? He's questionable at best. My guy, my guy's season legitimately ended. Who? Oh. Delaney Walkers. Oh, the Miami guy. The Tennessee guy. Yeah. He's just, yeah, his season well. actually actually ended, ended. Okay, he broke his ankle. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So walking away from week one, we had a lot. I mean, we had a couple weeks. We still had a lot, a lot of weeks left. Um, we have driven Jessica nuts. Yeah. Like, I don't know if she's going to be able to listen to this video. She might have already stopped editing the video. Yeah. And just said, ah, you know what. Well, let's just post it. Let's, we're just going to post it. Because she, she... I'm not listening to this football stuff. This is ridiculous. Not to say that she, you know, yeah. hates football. She's not She fan. just doesn't like listening to it on and on. And ever since we started this draft, or this, this fantasy thing, you know, we... we don't stop. We really don't stop talking. Because, I don't know, for once in my life. It's one thing because we watch the game. And then we talk about the games. And then we talk about players. Players. And then we talk about beating each other. And then we talk about how it's going to work out. Now, the nice thing about the way our league is set up is Neil and I are in the same division. And Nick and my nephew are in the same division. So it's pretty much the older part versus, you know, we're the, the two that would be considered probably the more expert esque on football are versing each other versus the the two that are a little bit more novice. Hmm. So it's definitely like when it comes to Super Bowl time, it's stuff is gonna be interesting. I'm probably gonna lose. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna lose. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it here. I'm gonna be very good throughout the season. Yeah. But I'm gonna lose the suit. I'm gonna lose. You that. have a lot of players that are not gonna be. They'll be hot right now. Like, I know you said Kamara can't get hurt, or it's not likely to get hurt, but I think he's gonna. Yeah. Hey, no, I hope not, because he's a nice kid. I think I think he's not. He's stay out of trouble. Um. This Kamada olive stuff, hummus, is delicious. I think this is the only brand we found that has olive. Wow. Is it? I haven't seen, I haven't seen some Sabra. Yeah, it's gotta be. I haven't seen it. I've never seen it. Or they, I, they may have it as olive, not named right. as what this is named. But Well, you know what these olives look like, right? Are these the purple ones? Well, purple black are about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah these are the. These They're are legitimate. Like I mean, black ones. You gotta really like olives to start wolfing these bubbles down. I like olives. That's why I bought this. What? That's why I got this. I like olives. I'm the one that picked this out. What? I said, what does Kalamata mean? And you said olives. So I was like, okay, let's get this one. Okay. Listen. I. We're never, don't ever ask me for a roasted garlic hummus again. I don't want We won't get this one. I'm done. You don't like roasted garlic hummus anymore? I've eaten too much of it and it's over. Well, they didn't have a lot of, that's the one thing. So, you know, I think we're a little bit over with the fantasy football topic for right now. I don't know, I just want to talk about the cop, the cop of the brand when we found it. Um, they didn't have a lot of hummuses. I think there was only like three, four. three or four. I think there was, there was roasted garlic, original, the olive one, and I want to say there's red pepper. Red right, pepper. I think there's. I want to say there's red pepper because usually, we almost have to. You, it, if you run into a hummus brand, a hummus hummus making brand, most likely it's original roasted garlic and red and red pepper. Or, or, or yeah, you better not put your name or, or out there. some sort of that way. Um, yeah. But the other weird thing about this brand, the Kava, was they had a lot of. Different other sauces. So yeah, yeah, cool, cool. they had a, sea, a tzatziki sauce, but that which, wasn't vegan. Which was weird. I don't believe it was vegan. Now no. I think these. I think the hummuses were the only things that were vegan. But it was just a weird. It was just weird to see. You know, a brand that makes hummus. Also I mean, they you know, make. You know, tzatziki this one sauce. straight says vegan though. Yeah, it's it says vegan and gluten free right on the so, right on the top. Um, yeah, I mean. And it's not too bad. I mean, oh. the garlic. Th this this is probably one of the more blander garlic hummuses that I've had. Yeah. But uh, compare. But that olive. Well, the one, problem was the o the olive was, was really good. You know, this thing really has good. so <laughs> much flavor, especially with the type of olives it's using. Um, wow, those olives are delicious, man. Oh yeah. I eat those by the by the pound too. They're delicious. I have. Um. <clears throat> Just a quick, you know, note. If you're out there and you like olives, tell us your favorite kind of olives. I mean, mm -hmm. I started out eating when I was a kid, eating the, you know, I thought of the traditional uh, green olive with the little pimento. Only since I've gotten became an adult did I really get into like eating these types of olives, pitted, non-pitted. I know. I I would actually have to agree. Yeah. Um, I think olives is just one of those things. Where I think olives are a gateway. I think olives are just one of those foods that, as a kid, no one ever really eats them as a kid. Yeah, they're because, weird. Because they're weird looking. They, yeah, because they look like a grape. They look like eyeballs. They look like yeah, they look like eyeballs, and they look like a grape, but don't taste like a grape. No, they just they're completely and I, savory. And I, and I feel like you know, growing. I've never up, had a sweet olive. You know that? Growing, aren't there sweet olives? Isn't there, isn't there sweet olives? I thought there was sweet olives. I think, I think you better check your definition of sweet. I mean like sweet dill. I don't know, like, like sweet pickles. I feel like there, I, there has, I feel like there has to be someone that made a sweet olive. I don't know about that. I don't know, maybe. Olive itself would not, t I don't know that the olive, like the would texture, it? would really be like, I mean, you're gonna, what are you gonna soak it in? You yeah. mean like a sweet dill? I don't, I don't see mm -hmm. them. But I don't I, see that working I out. I feel like yeah, I feel like olives are just one of those things that are 
you don't eat them as a kid, but you eat them as an adult, or right. you just don't you just don't eat them in general. Like I hear like there's people who just generally just don't eat, has never eaten an olive in their life, and they're perfectly fine with that because you yeah. know as a kid they didn't want them, and now. But oh, no, wait, 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 I feel like olives is one of those foods where if you try it you'll like it. You, you if you if you like that sort of dill dill pickle kind of. Kind of. You can't say it tastes like dill pickle. I, I know, but the, I, the, the closest thing would be a dill pickle. It would be like a pickle. I agree, though. Because you know they're soaked in a they're soaked in a jar they're, they're, and eaten. They're brined. Yeah. So I mean, it, you know, you, you have to like that whole like kind Br of pickle. brined vegetable. Brine, yeah, brined vegetable to like an olive. I agree. And, and I feel like that know, I can agree. With. I feel like you know olives is just one of those things where you know. There, it, it's one of those foods where people could go their whole lives not eating at all, and be perfectly fine. I feel like that's one of those foods that you, that somebody could be like, you know, yeah. I didn't eat all of. It's fine. Yeah, I think it's, I think so. I don't think it is. I, I think. I don't think. I think. That, I think at some point, somebody sneaks an olive somewhere into you. Well, that's how I started eating olives. Yeah, I know. I started eating olives because of my my mom's pasta. Salad. Yeah. That's how I started yeah. eating them, and uh, you know, I, I, I eat them on occasion when, you know, when the moment strikes up. I don't go out and bite them. Go out and you eat won't, them. You won't pick, pick up a jar, a, uh, like a jar of them. No, I don't just, I just don't normally pick like up you a won't, jar you and won't, eat them. You won't shy away from something that has olives in it. I feel like if you see, like the look of an olive, the look of an olive as oh, a child. I don't think the I don't think the, the olive is look, the enough. smell. You know, if you're a kid and you don't understand what it is, I feel like that's different. Anyway, that's true. If you have an opinion about that that, about that, that conversation, conversation. About that conversation, put in the comments below. Put in the comments down below. Um, if you have any any so, questions about fantasy football, yeah, if you if you if you are in a league, if you're not in a league, if you'd you, like to be in a league, if if you don't like this that subject, yeah, if you don't like, if you agree with Jessica that we should stop talking about, about football, football for constant for a number of mukbangs, put in the comments down. Put below. it down in the comments because there's. Absolutely no way. I mean, in, the, in our heads, it's our, we'll be talking it's about our go to subject. In our heads, we'll be talking about other things, but in our, uh, realistically, we will be wondering is our player scoring points? Yeah. If he's not. And if he's not, he's... did he get injured? And who can we pick, off the, pick up off the waiver to replace him? Um, not that we don't care about the players, we love the players. God bless them. Um, don't like the players, hate the game. Anyway, this has been Monday Mukbang. And this has been a Monday Mukbang with like, uh, John and Neil. Like this, like this video if you liked it. Yeah, why, like this video if you like it. Because why wouldn't you? Hit the yeah, bell. Why, why? Hit, hit, hit the bell to be notified when we bring it. <laughs> Subscribe if you like this content uh, or like this video. Uh, share the video if you enjoyed it and want to share it with other people or friends. There you go. Uh, comment down below to any of the other topics that we've said before yeah. this closing statement. This has been Ami ZV and Monday Mukbang. Have a good night. Or morning, whenever you're watching this.